Hi guys, welcome back. It's time for another of our mini lessons. Today, we're gonna work on story mapping. And I decided that we're gonna story map one of the short stories that I read to you from the Brothers Grimm. We're gonna do Hansel and Gretel. So, the title of the story is Hansel. And I'm gonna do put plus Gretel. Okay, the author was the Brothers Grimm. Okay, so it's always very important to know the title because sometimes it gives you some very important information. Like the story we're reading now is The Call of the Wild and we know it's about someone going back into the wild. Hansel and Gretel is the name of the story. So we know the story is about Hansel and Gretel. And Brothers Grimm, it's always nice to know the author because they're the ones who wrote the story. And they should get credit for what credit's due. All right, the characters in the story, well, we just named two. There's Hansel and Gretel. There's, who else? Someone who works in the forest, who really does love his children, but not as well as he should. It's the father, it's a father. And he's married to someone who's not the children's mom and not very nice. It's the stepmother. And eventually they run into a scary woman in the woods. What was she? She was an old witch. Okay. So in this story, there are five characters. Hansel and Gretel, father and stepmother, and the old witch. All of these characters are important because they're the ones who move the story along. Setting. Where does this story take place? Well, they live in a cabin in the woods. So we can say the woods as the setting nice and easy because they live in a cabin they get lost in the woods they find something in the woods and then they come back there's a lot of stuff going on all right now we need to think about the main event the conflict the resolution and the themes so the main event of the story Hansel and Gretel somehow get lost in the woods what causes that so let's think about it well they start out by saying they don't have a lot of money or food. Then they tell you how the stepmother is constantly yelling about the kids and how little they do. And do you remember at night, one night, the stepmother asks the father, let's bring the kids to the woods and lose them so that we don't have extra mouths to feed. So the main event of the story is the father and stepmother bring Hansel and Gretel to the woods so that they will be lost, okay? So father plus stepmother bring Hansel plus Gretel to the woods and let's make it even shorter to leave behind so sad now that is the main event that's what drives the story if Hansel and Gretel were not lost in the woods they wouldn't have known their stepmother was as mean as they were if they were not lost in the woods, we wouldn't find out how smart they were and how much they worked together. If they weren't lost in the woods, we wouldn't have met the witch. Ooh. So the conflict. What happens in the story that really comes to a striking huge event? Well, they meet someone. They meet the old witch and she locks up Hansel so she could eat him. <gasps> so 
They meet the witch. Who locks up Hansel to be eaten. That's not nice at all. So how did they f solve that? Well, Gretel became great brave. What did she do? She pushed the witch into the oven. So Gretel pushed the witch into the oven and freed Hansel. Now, the themes of the story. What is the driving force? Okay, so one of the themes is they were very poor. So, being poor is actually a theme in a lot of stories. It's a driving force in a story. What's another theme? Something that carries along in a lot of fantasy stories. The mean stepmother. Okay, there's also a theme of how smart the kids are. Smart children. And finally, the theme of the scary old witch. So themes are just something that you see repeated in a story that gives you an idea what's going to happen. You know that if someone's really poor in a story, many times by the end, they either realize what they have or they get rich. If there's a mean stepmother in the story, something's going to happen to prove how mean she is. And usually they're not used in the end of the story. They either pass away or they don't need them anymore. Smart children in the story means that the children are going to show how versatile and how great they really are and get out of any fix that they get in. A scary old witch means that they're going to meet someone who's going to do something awful and they have to get past it. So those are themes and you'll see them in a lot of fantasy or stories like this. All right. So we have completed our story map. So the story of Hansel and Gretel by the Brothers Grimm. The characters are Hansel and Gretel, the father, the stepmother, and the old witch. The setting is the woods. The main event is the father and stepmother bring Hansel and Gretel to the woods to leave behind. The conflict is they meet the witch who locks up Hansel to be eaten. <gasps> the resolution is Gretel pushes the witch into the oven and frees Hansel. The themes of being poor, a mean stepmother, smart children, and a scary old witch are throughout the story. All right. Hope that helped you break things down and really think about how to fill in a story map. We don't always talk about themes, but we can always bring that up. But it's very important to know what the main event or driving force of the story is, the conflict where all the big stuff happens, and the resolution, how people get out of things are, as well as the characters and the setting. Those are really what you need to know for every story that we read. All right. I hope you enjoy. Talk to you later.